hello everyone if you're new to my channel my channel is cooking mom and today i'm gonna be making um some merry christmas cookies and it's they're expensive to make also um you're gonna use um candied cherries and candied pineapples nuts sugar flour eggs butter cinnamon a little bit of cinnamon a little bit of baking soda and you're also going to need a fourth a cup of milk. So, anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up my cherries and my um, pineapples and my nuts. And I'll get that ready and then we'll do the other ingredients. Oh, if you like my videos, go on and hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. I have another channel that's um, coupon clicking mom. You might want to ch uh, click on that also. Alright, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to measure out the cherries. I'm going to do more red than green than green because uh, they must have a shortage on the green this year. <laughs> so I got plenty of red but no, hardly no green. So it calls for two cups of cherries. So I'm going to put them there and then I'm going to chop them up. And let me get my other glove on. Cause like I say, these <laughs> cherries is messy. That was like a dark one there. Oh, I lost one. I'm gonna take that one out. And I'll throw that other way. And all I'm gonna do is just chop them up. Okay, I got my cherries chopped up. I'm gonna put them in my bowl. What I don't lose. <laughs> Counter's clean. Okay. Now, you're going to have to get two green pineapples, two red pineapples. And two yellow pineapples. All right, cut these up. Get my gloves back on because this is messy. Okay, I got the pineapples cut. Let's see if I can get them in the bowl without losing them. The, I got the worst part over with the pineapples and the cherries. <laughs> now, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna um chop up our nuts. Okay, I got uh, walnuts and pecans. So I'm gonna do a cup of walnuts. In a cup of pecans. I'm not going to bore you with this loud noise. Okay, I don't want them real, real fine. But this is pretty good. And I had to do a double take a while ago. I forgot to put this in. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do the pecans now. I told you wrong. It's four cups of nuts. So we got to do more. <laughs> oh, well. I'm sure this is probably a cup. Close enough. A little bit more than a cup, but it'll be all right. Okay. Okay. I'm melting my butter. And I'm putting my, put the paper over the top of it, keep it from splattering in the microwave. Okay, we're going to add the brown sugar, a cup of brown sugar. That's two sticks of um, 
butter melted and we're gonna do some eggs in a minute as soon as I get this mixed up okay now it'll finish mixing good when I put the eggs in it and then we're gonna put some milk in it that to the side I'm gonna do my eggs in the same bowl because it ain't nothing but uh, a little bit of butter and that um sugar kind of cool the eggs down okay you gonna beat these just a little bit kind of Mix them up till they're well beaten. It's probably not good enough. All right, then we're gonna mix this in with our our butter and our brown sugar. Mix it up till it gets pretty good and combined. Clean my mess up. That's got pretty good right there. Now all we got to do is add our um, couple of fleece brown sugar that didn't get mixed up good. There it goes. We're going to add our cinnamon and um, some baking soda. I got to get. Okay, we're going to add a, the baking soda and the cinnamon. That out. That's close enough. Okay, now we got to get some more cinnamon. Okay, mix that up in there. And then we're gonna add a half, a fourth a cup of milk. Mix it a little bit more. Add that milk in a little bit at the time. And I'm using um, organic milk. I don't buy regular milk anymore because most of the time it goes bad in my refrigerator. So. I buy organic milk and it lasts longer and I don't I ain't throwing out near as much milk because I've never been much of a milk drinker okay we got that done and now we'll get ready to add the fruit and the nuts I got to back up I'm about to forget my flour <laughs> you're gonna take three cups of um, biscuit flour and I'm using self rising. I'm gonna mix that up till it gets combined. A little bit more. Old sifter. All right, I'm 
made the rest of it. Takes care of the flower. And it's gonna be like a kind of gonna be like a cookie dough. And you're gonna put all your ingredients in it. Just gotta get it mixed up good. Getting there. All right. That's close enough. Now all I got to do is put my other stuff in it. I'm going to mix it up just like I did with the, my fruit cake. Okay, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just put them on the pan, maybe like a tablespoon size, maybe. And I, I've already cooked some of my first batch. Got kind of big. So, we're going to do some more. And um, I'm just going to put them in there. I'm not taking no pains with it. Just do them little ones that, see if I can get 24 on this pan. And check your temperature of your oven, because everybody's oven don't cook the same. Because my mama said, cook it on 350. Well, I cooked it on 350, and the bottom of it's a little brown, as you can see. But they're still good. So then, I cooked it on 315, um, and it's still kind of brown, but they're still good. Well, this here was at 300, and they perfect. So, so anyway, you got to adjust your oven, more or less check and see which would be the best way. But my husband, he'll eat those other ones with that brown bottom. He loves them dark like that. So, <laughs> but anyway, these are the Merry Christmas cookies. They still good though. <laughs> anyway I hope you like my videos if you do go on there and hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching before I hang, before I get off I showed you the real deal here so <laughs> this is cooking experimenting so but anyway thanks for watching <laughs>